On June 19, or Juneteenth as it is more often known, we commemorate the final liberation of slaves in Galveston, Texas, in 1865 after the state received official confirmation that the Civil War was finished. Today, it serves as a larger celebration, and a reminder, of the endurance and hardship of black Americans across the country, as well as of ongoing efforts to create a more equal America. In 2021, Juneteenth will be formally recognized as a federal holiday. Marches and stirring speeches are frequently part of the celebration. To assist you in observing and reflecting on the day, we've compiled 41 inspiring and motivating quotations about Juneteenth from activists, politicians, and celebrities. Juneteenth has never been a celebration of victory or an acceptance of the way things are. It's a celebration of progress. It's an affirmation that despite the most painful parts of our history, change is possible, and there is still so much work to do. You must never, ever give out. We must keep the faith because we are one people. We are brothers and sisters. We all live in the same house, the American house. Hold those things that tell your history and protect them. During slavery, who was able to read or write or keep anything? The ability to have somebody to tell your story to is so important. It says, I was here. I may be sold tomorrow. But you know I was here. Juneteenth may mark just one moment in the struggle for emancipation, but the holiday gives us an occasion to reflect on the profound contributions of enslaved black Americans to the cause of human freedom. Every black person you meet is a miracle, we are valuable because of our humanity and declared valuable because our ancestors declared our worth when they fought for us to live. We black folk, our history, and our present being are a mirror of all the manifold experiences of America. If we black folk perish, America will perish. We shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. If you know whence you came, there is really no limit to where you can go. Won't it be wonderful when black history and Native American history and Jewish history and all of U.S. history is taught from one book? Just U.S. history. Today on Juneteenth, the day we celebrate the end of slavery, the day we memorialize those who offered us hope for the future and the day when we renew our commitment to the struggle for freedom. Slavery is theft, theft of a life, theft of work, theft of any property or produce, theft even of the children a slave might have borne. Juneteenth is another moment for me and my loved ones to build an archive of truth and experience of, ourselves, black folks. There are two ways of exerting one's strength, one is pushing down, the other is pulling up. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. June 19th reminds me that I am the force of power to change this world and to follow in the footsteps of my ancestors to work towards liberation. Understanding history is one of many ways to break the cycle. Lift up slash amplify black voices. Support black owned businesses. Reach back. Mentor. 
What historical narrative are we willing to weave in order to remind people not only that we were here and during the trials but that we stared the fong-toothed wolves of injustice in the face and said, no more. Ours is not the struggle of one day, one week, or one year. Ours is not the struggle of one judicial appointment or presidential term. Ours is the struggle of a lifetime, or maybe even many lifetimes, and each one of us in every generation must do our part. Juneteenth is important to me because till this day black people are still subject to racial injustice on a global scale, and are still victims of racial abuse regardless of where they are from. Juneteenth allows us to remember how far black people have progressed since and it is a reminder of the strength we have within us. Eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. There's no other race, to me, that has such a tough history for hundreds and hundreds of years, and only the strong survive, so we were the strongest and the most mentally tough, and I'm really proud to wear this color every single day of my life. If there is just about anything to rejoice it can be my ancestors, African people who survived the atrocity and stain of slavery, I honor them these days with a guarantee that I will keep on to combat for your unexplored desires and hopes. We are not ready to fight because we love fighting. We are ready to fight because we are worth fighting for. We never got the 40 acres. We went all the way to Herbert Hoover, and we never got the 40 acres. We didn't get the mule. So we decided we'd ride this donkey as far as it would take us. You need not be afraid to give us our rights for fear we will take too much, for we can't take more than our pine will hold. We have suffered discrimination. We have suffered isolation and undermining. But we stand up for America, oftentimes when others who think they are more patriotic, who say they are more patriotic, do not. If the cruelties of slavery could not stop us, the opposition we now face will surely fail. Because the goal of America is freedom, abused and scorned though we may be, our destiny is tied up with America's destiny. It's an opportunity to both look back but to look ahead to make sure that that notion of freedom and the fragility of it is always protected and celebrated. The 4th of July was never about black people. Juneteenth is just for us. As black people, we are told we don't deserve our own holidays rooted in our own history. Everything is whitewashed. Juneteenth is for us, Juneteenth symbolizes the hope that my children and grandchildren will be free. It's black joy and black tenacity to survive. Even though the story has never been tidy, and black folks have had to march and fight for every inch of our freedom, our story is nonetheless one of progress. Early on, the spelling of the holiday was not yet fixed, often appearing as Juneteenth, Juneteenth, or Juneteenth. The Dictionary of American Regional English Records Another Variant Texan Form, June the 10th. The legend is that the teenth is because the news is delivered on different days to different groups. We have simply got to make people aware that none of us are free until we're all free, and we aren't free yet. Throughout history, Juneteenth has been known by many names, Jubilee Day, Freedom Day, Liberation Day, Emancipation Day, and, today, a national holiday. What the people want is simple. They want an America as good as its promise. The day we were free, everyone was free. 
why not make it a paid holiday? We deserve that, we want a day that is inclusive to everyone. Freedom is not something that one people can bestow on another as a gift. They claim it as their own and none can keep it from them. You can't separate peace from freedom, because no one can be at peace unless he has his freedom. The proclamation notes that freedom shall not be repressed. This is what I believe to be the primary significance of Juneteenth. I would like to be remembered as a person who wanted to be free, so other people would be also free. Every June 19th is an opportunity for us to continue the momentum of memory, and the parade and the self-determination movements. Whether it's freedom to express, freedom to live, freedom to earn, freedom to thrive, freedom to learn, whatever it is, I want to make sure that I'm a part of these spaces and opening doors. Nobody's free until everybody's free. I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. I prayed for freedom for 20 years, but received no answer until I prayed with my legs. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality and liberty and just for all, including black women who are often, too often overlooked, but so often prove they are the backbone of our democracy. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin, or his background, or his religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. No violence will create peace, to effect change we must show love in the face of hate and peace in the face of violence. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I'll rise. I had crossed the line. I was free, but there was no one to welcome me to the land of freedom. I was a stranger in a strange land. 